New South Wales side led out by their new skipper for the evening, Ray Price, and there are quite a number of changes in this New South Wales side, and he's the very interesting player, the fullback Kevin Dan. He certainly shows a great deal of potential. He likes to chime into the back line, and uh, he's, he's plenty of speed on, and uh, he could be a danger to the Queensland side. And the important thing about uh, this evening's match is not only whether New South Wales can clinch this interstate series for 1980, but the selection of the Australian team, which is going to be made immediately after the game, a squad of 20 players to tour New Zealand, and the number of Queenslanders who make that tour will very much depend on their performance this evening. Uh, quite a number of the Queenslanders have impressed, despite the state team's overall uh, losing record to New South Wales in recent seasons, and a lot of eyes are going to be on the centre combination of Mal Meninga and Chris Close in particular, also the halfback Wally Lewis. Queensland led out by their lock forward Norm Carr. And also a number of changes in this Queensland side to the one that played at Lang Park last Tuesday night and was defeated 35 to 3. Well, this fellow uh, in the centre, the vice captain of the Queensland side, Chris Close, he's a, he's a very strong lad. He's a straight runner, very hard, very good in the, uh, the defensive work, and his combination with Melbourne Inga, I'm sure, will be a feature of the game this evening. So the game to be controlled this evening by the Queensland referee, Eddie Ward. Last week we had Jack Danzi of Sydney travelling to Brisbane for the game, and now Eddie Ward reciprocates this evening as Ray Price looks for the winning toss and it's been won by Norm Carr by the looks of things it means that Queensland in the Maroon will run from right to left that's defending the southern end of Leichhardt Oval but there's very little breeze here this evening and I don't think that the the toss would really make any difference to the outcome of this game we've had uh, a fair amount of rain in Sydney this afternoon and it was raining up until about 30 minutes ago we haven't had any rain since then but the ground is fairly soggy very still conditions overcast Quite, uh, quite warm, really, for this time of year. And I think the only thing that uh, will, da will hamper the players this evening is the state of the ground. It's going to be very interesting, too, because uh, the players, they have the opportunity of impressing the selectors for the last time before the Australian side is selected. The condition of the ground, it's very similar to that uh, in New Zealand. And if they excel here tonight, then they have a, must have a great chance of playing well in New Zealand. So the kickoff going straight away to the Queensland fullback, Colin Scott. Kaneskew is the dummy half, the new hooker for Queensland. Lewis going the far side, but it comes this way. And Naylor the plate. In fact, he's dropped the ball. Referee Ward called it a knockback, and Queensland still have it. That's Higgs. Making his return to football in Sydney after some three seasons back in Queensland. And the first penalty of the match going to Queensland. An infringement in the play the ball. And we'll have a kick for touch only about 28 metres away from the Queensland goal line. It's a good decision too by referee, referee Eddie Ward to, to get off the, uh, the man with the ball. Let's get on with the game. Far too many times we see players over the, the attacking man and they're unable to play the ball and of course the game suffers as a result. Meninga not gaining all that much ground but making very definite uh, choice of putting the ball straight into touch. It's Hancock. Well taken by Morris and Boyd. Kinescu. Tackle was Robert Stone and assisted by another former Queenslander, John Lang. It's Lewis, a knock on there by Hancock at the scrum at the uh, base of the ruck. First scrum of the match going down about six metres inside the New South Wales half. The possession uh, will be again important in the early part of the game, and there's Queensland have an advantage with that scrum penalty and it'll give them an opportunity to uh, to get Queensland on the attack. I think under the, under the circumstances it's certainly too far out for a, uh, an attempt at a penalty goal and this gives Queensland the opportunity of putting the pressure right on New South Wales. And a fairly good kick by Meninga to drive New South Wales back inside their own quarter. Here's a chance now for Queensland, Hancock. to Kinesio and going the blind side is Ray Higgs. Stone and Lang were the two defenders. Kinescu out now to McWhirter, close. Good defence by the 
New South Wales centre Graham Quinn. Naylor slipped the ball back and it was knocked on there by Lewis and it looks like a New South Wales ball being played by Boyd. That's Boyd now taking it up. A good defence by Ray Higgs. That's what uh, earned him a place in the Australian side some years ago. Yeah, we've seen that tackle before and uh, well, Queensland have been caught offside and a bit, little bit of feeling out there. But, uh, it lets New South Wales off the hook. I, I guess it's going to take New South Wales a while to settle down because it's the first time these players have played together before. And uh, it, it, it does make a difference to get to know each other's play. And I think it'll take a while before New South Wales can get into their, uh, into their attacking stride. That is, of course, if Queensland lets them. Face dead. One of uh, three former Queenslanders in this team, Stone. The newcomer to representative football at this level anyway lang boyd damaging runner to lang win i think they could be the two danger men for queensland tonight to graham win and les boyd two second rowers they like to get out wide and they certainly look for holes and they could be uh, could find them too in that in the Queensland defence. Queensland will need to watch these two players, Win and Boyd, because they're very strong runners. New South Wales with one tackle to go. That's Morris on the far side, and the game's going to see a scrum go down for the sixth tackle. He held it back because it could have been intercepted. Wally Lewis feeding the scrum for Queensland. Queensland's first scrum win, but uh, Lewis was immediately taken by Graham Wynn, and he's being penalised. It was a pretty hefty tackle too by the New South Wales second rower. And uh, Wynn being sent marching backwards with Lewis to receive attention and Meninga to kick the touch. Touch judge in fact has come in from the far side. This calling went up. Also Captain Ray Price coming up to hear what the touch judge and referee Eddie Ward has to say. He's talking about the arm over the shoulder. Well, I didn't think, Reg, that uh, Eddie Ward's view was in any way obstructed as he followed the uh, win around the scrum base. It was right on the spot. Well, I couldn't understand the touch judge coming in to report that the referee had already penalised. <laughs> so, Hooker Kineskew, Naylor. Kineskew was taken by Boyd in the tackle. Hancock. Wally Lewis is still uh, receiving attention behind play with Jeff Naylor to play at the Queensland about 10 metres inside the New South Wales half. Lewis is not very well on his feet behind play, taking quite a lot of time to join uh, his teammates in the three-quarter line. McWhirt a dummy half. Higgs. That pass went to Hancock. Trying to bullock his way further into the New South Wales half. One tackle to go. Close dummy half. That's Lewis. And against New South Wales. And that's in a scoring off, uh, position for a scoring opportunity for Queensland. The penalty of about 14, 15 metres inside the New South Wales half. And Meninga coming across from the centres. And I think he'll probably have a shot for gold. Yes, that's his intention. In fact, uh, he's going to have the shot for gold. Not very far off centre field. And with a man of uh, his ability, it's not by any means beyond his reach. And while Meninga is placing the ball for uh, the shot at goal, Wally Lewis has taken the opportunity to go to ground again to receive further attention. They received quite a knock, the wind going around, breaking very fast from the scrub and uh, he caught Lewis. Lewis was unable to see him, uh, wind around the blind side of the scrub and uh, he's obviously very sick. Well as you see when uh, this shot widens out that uh, Meninga has not got a, a much of an angle at all. Uh, his main problem here will be the distance. He shouldn't have any worries there, though. There's no breeze, and this should be the first points of the match to Queensland. Meninga moving in, and it looks pretty good. 
and that's Queensland's first score, Queensland 2 leading New South Wales nil, and that's after 12 minutes of the first half. To Queensland, that's against Steve Morris. In fact, uh, Eddie Ward uh, certainly not happy with the manner in which Morris fed the scrum, fed the ball into the scrum, and it's another opportunity for Meninga. Meninga having his second shot tonight. Uh, Graham Wynn has already missed two out of two for New South Wales. Meninga successful with his only one. Rowan Hancock receiving attention. He looked as though he got a, a cut on the mouth. And uh, you'll see Hancock a little later on. He's received attention to go, go back and join his Queensland teammates while Meninga's been lining up the shot for goal. We saw Hancock earlier stay on the ground uh, for a while after he was tackled and it did appear as though he received a cut on the mouth. Sam Meninga slightly to the left of centre field but only about 34 metres out. Looks good. Yes, it's there. Good lead to Queensland. Queensland 4, New South Wales nil. 18 minutes gone in the first half. He kicks that ball very well indeed. He's head down and uh, certainly goes through the ball and plenty of height and distance. It's a two very good kicks so far. Well, the game itself at the moment, we've seen uh, little football with, with both teams trying to settle the play down getting used to it in the case of the New South Wales side getting used to each other but Queensland are starting to get into their stride they'll do well I believe to to get their forwards deeper they've been going one out and they need to keep that ball alive for one two three passes in this case of course they've got to play it tight but they've got to support them here one inside one outside they'll do well to take the defense away from the ball carrier New South Wales on the other hand are tackling well they're moving up quick and they're not uh, there's very few gaps in that lineup Talk about tackling. Look at that one from Ray Price. That's Higgs, caught by Morris, Lang, and Price as well. Stone. Lewis, McWhirter, close. And Brentnell nearly taking the intercept and knock on to both players, and that means a scrum just out from the Queensland goal line. Brentnell well up there in defence, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a danger in your own quarter line to that third pass because it gives the opposition enough time to get up and perhaps intercept. New South Wales ball. Steve Morris hasn't been given any leeway as yet around that scrum base, but when he gets a, a clear run, you'll see him get move. That's Price. So New South Wales only about 15 metres out. Lang, Morris, Trudgett. Brendel on the burst, but he was a decoy. Went to Graham Wynn. And Boyd. At Stone. Looks for support. In fact, Queensland have come up with it. McWhirter. Jeff Naylor making a half break. Good backing up at a Queensland ball and going for the line is Graham Quinn. Stone, that's Lang. Quick, quickly back to the other prop forward. Rod Morris held up though. That was better defence by Queensland. They came through quickly. Now Steve Morris. Trudgett. Price is with him. Trying to get his arms around behind the tackler to free the pass. Lang. Second row of Boyd. Lang, Trudgett, Brentnell is outside but he's going for the line and gave it to Quinn. Quinn's close to scoring. One tackle to go for New South Wales, they're very close. Watch Lang from dummy half. Quick passing by New South Wales, Steve Morris. He's through but can't get the ball over. It's good defensive work there from the Queensland side. They did well to keep New South Wales out there and New South Wales starting to get their game together. That's Price. He's very good at uh, taking the ball from the scrum base. 
Morris. Win. Had Trudge with him, it would have been offside though. Stone got it back, John Lang. Lang's almost through. Playing it back to win. Trudgett. Had his teammate Graham Quinn outside. Playing it now to Robert Stone. Two tackles for New South Wales. Lang. Boyd. He's very hard to stop, but good defence again by McWhirter and Higgs. Higgs is always going low in the tackle. To Lang, last tackle coming up. Trudgett putting up the bomb, not noted as a bomb specialist, and Lewis goes up, but it's been taken by Brentnell, who's over, and he's lost the ball, but it's a try. Brentnell able to get the ball down before he lost it, and the first try of the match goes to Greg Brentnell of New South Wales after 22 minutes, right under the posts. Greg Brentnell scoring from the bomb put up by Trudgett. It's a very well-judged kick here by Trudgett. Not known, but puts it right up underneath, and it's, it gives New South Wales players every chance to get underneath it. And look at Benton go right up, Australian real style, and under the post for an excellent try. Has to battle, but gets that ball down. And from right in front, Graham Wynn should convert. And New South Wales leads by five points to four. New South Wales five, Queensland four. We've got something like 16 minutes to go before the halftime break. Probably apart from the normal run of the mill hookers, Reg. Well, I'd like to, I'd say here and now, I think he will be the uh, the second hooker to go to New Zealand. Uh, Dr. George Paponis, of course, the, the captain, uh, he'll be Australian captain. I think Lang will be the, his two I see. I like John Lang because he's a good organiser around the rucks. He's a very good dummy half. He switches the play and uh, he can also do his, uh, his own heavy work at the same time when it's required. But we see him here now at the dummy half position. And a pass to Steve Morris. Trudge it. He's got Boyd going with him. Boyd had to wait on the pass and his momentum had halted by the time he came to the defence. Back to Lang. There'll be a penalty to New South Wales. And referee Ward being very consistent with that ruling. He wants the man with the ball given ample time to play the ball. I agree with him 100% and surely both sides must realise now that uh, the referee Eddie Ward is, is going to penalise the player that, uh, that hampers the, uh, the man with the ball. This looks an easy two points for New South Wales, but there's not a great deal in it at this stage. Probably New South Wales have the, the better of the, the attack in the game so far. They've scored the only try of the match. You know, Bentwell went, went in. At Queensland, they've defended well. They've certainly stood up on New South Wales, but I believe in the last uh, five minutes or so, you know, New South Wales have been able to throw the ball about. They've been able to get that third and fourth pass away, and I think they're starting to get into their attacking game. So here's Graham Wynn about 24, 25 metres straight out, straight in front. Long and straight, and it's there, New South Wales back in front. They're leading Queensland now by seven points to four, and there's about eight minutes to go before half time. Reg, another point about uh, the match so far, I don't recall having called any of the wingers as having touched the ball apart from taking the, the second kick. It's not really a night uh, for wingers or centres, Alan. It's, uh, I've noticed the, the centres, uh, the, the whole four of them, they've been up uh, very flat, very tight, and they've, uh, they haven't been standing deep. They've been closely marking each other, and the ball, of course, is not travelling to the, the flanks. I think the one time we did see Anderson get the ball was from the uh, restart of play. So Ray Price, 10 metres inside his own half, away to Rod Morris, Boyd outside. To Lang. Morris got it away to Stone. Lang, Morris, Rod Morris. Good tackle up the centre too from Norm Carr. Lang, it's Boyd, Queensland is not giving him a great deal of room to move and whether he throws a dummy or not they're not falling for it, they intent on moving up to take him, it's Trudgett and that's the end of six tackles, good defence by Queensland, they've uh, stopped New South Wales 
gaining any more than 10 or 11 metres in this scrum in the centre of the ground. Lang is leading in the scrums by four to two and Queensland uh, have been favoured in the penalties by eight to six so far. That's Steve Morris, trudge it. Kevin Dan, the fullback, was standing up in the movement, but he was on the other side of the field. McWhirt is Price. watching trudge it. He's not giving trudge it any room to move at all. Playing it to Quinn, Steve Morris, Stone, trudge it. Good break, half break made by Trudgett and an equally good tackle. Rowan Hancock it was. Stone. Pass got away. Lang is 10 metres inside the Queensland half. Win. Trudgett. Win doubling around quickly. Queensland are getting up amongst the New South Wales players and they're frustrating their attack. Players like, uh, as we've just seen there, Wynn having to hold the ball in case it was intercepted or knocked down. One-handed pass out to Bostead. Had it gone straight to him, uh, he might well have had a head start, but tackle count starts again. Price. Brad Backer moving in in defence, assisting Higgs. Steve Morris. Trudgett has Boyd with him, but it went the other way. That's Trudgett, uh, Graham Quinn at least, in the centres. Back to Boyd. It was a no-nonsense palm off, but the defence came again. Stone, and away to Price. Got support. Quinn about 30 metres out. Lang dummy half. Steve Morris, Trudgett. Fullback Dam was up, but it went to win the second rower. One to go for New South Wales. About 26 metres out. Steve Morris, Trudgett. Price juggled the ball and regained and lost. And the advantage rule played by the referee in Queensland have it through Naylor. 37 minutes gone. This is Kinescu. Chris Close. Um, he had a touch, but... Uh, He's anxious to show his wares. Marinan about eight metres short of halfway. Higgs. And a good strong tackle from Boyd. Kick down filled by Lewis and Anderson getting back, but he won't keep it in. Yes, he will. I noticed Boyd in that last tackle too has hurt his shoulder. It'll be interesting to see how he goes. He's feeling it, he's working it as if he's a uh, little muscle or something. Brentall was standing right out on the wing. The New South Wales forwards were very slow to get back on side. The Queensland defence moving up quickly all the time. Steve Morris, that's Rod Morris. These Queenslanders are moving up fast. They're, they're tackling well. There's not too many gaps out there. In fact, we've only seen uh, a couple of breaks made in this game, but they're containing it in the centre. Win. His one man can make a break. The ball's been lost forward, and Norm Carr has it for Queensland. Kineskew, the hooker, he's not afraid to run with the ball either. Now, Backer comes in from the wing. What Lewis, McWhirter, had close outside. Back to close. A neat step too, close down on the quarter line, got good break there to Lewis. Lewis for the line and overhead and intercepted by Kevin Dan of New South Wales. That was very nearly a Queensland try. It was well anticipated there by Dan. Well, that that against Chris Close for not getting off uh, Kevin Dan. It looks New South Wales off the hook there, but uh, well, we haven't seen a great deal of breaks made out wide, but that was, uh, this goes to show what this uh, Chris Close can do in the centre. Very strong run, straight down the centre. He's a big lad, big, strong fellow. Uh, it was good work. Almost resulted in a Queensland try. So about two minutes before half-time, and New South Wales with the ball on halfway. That's Kerry Bosted. 
Back to Lang. Stone. Just been a very tight first half of football, and I think the emphasis has been on defence on, on both sides. New South Wales have, have tried to, to throw this ball around to make the break, but Queensland defence has been up to the task. And here's Graham Wynn splitting the defence up the middle. In fact, the difference has only been that bomb that, uh, that Trudgett put up. And, uh, now Johnny Lang from dummy half. Lang almost through. Had support. Stevie Morris is over to score. New South Wales second try. It should never have been on. Some poor defence. Perhaps the only time of the evening. Such bad defence by Queensland. And John Lang has set up the try scored by the New South Wales halfback Steve Morris. Ten points before the score. No breeze whatsoever at Leichhardt Oval this evening. And just scraping in it inside that upright. So that is half time. New South Wales with the lead at half time of 12 points to four. Tries to Brentnell and Morris in the first half. Graham win three goals from five attempts. And for Queensland, Meninga has kicked two out of three. Half time scrums favouring New South Wales by five to two. And the penalties at half time favouring Queensland by eight to seven. New South Wales lined out from right to left. Well, I would imagine at half time that the respective coaches, Teddy Glossop for New South Wales and Johnny McDonald for Queensland, I think would stress again to these players that, right, this is the. You've got 40 minutes to impress the Australian selectors. Get out there and do something. And I, I would also hope that uh, they would have told them, look, start throwing the ball about. You've played the tight football in the first half. Let's start seeing some action. That's Boyd. To Lang. Rod Morris. Stone, and that's Ray Price. I'd imagine there'd be some very high tackle counts for the uh, amongst those uh, Queensland forwards. They've been doing a lot of defensive work in this game so far. And Brentnell making a good break on the last tackle. As a matter of fact, uh, Reg, we had a opportunity to check that tackle count, and uh, if Queenslanders can keep it up, there's really going to be some uh, high tackle counts. I will. About, uh, I think, uh, Ray Higgs are up around the 17 tackles in the first half. Yes. That's a lot of tackling. Trudge it. But the uh, Queensland have based their game on this straight line of defence. Uh, they realise that if they give this New South Wales side room to move, they'll, they'll put on the moves and they've got the speed out wide. And Rod Morris. New South Wales losing the ball with uh, Lang coming up with it and that forces a scrum just inside the Queensland half. It's a bit like the Australian reserve forward of last year, Ray Brown, who played every position in the scrum. Lewis taking over the kicking on the far side and takes play up to halfway. Hancock. Now Lewis, Higgs, Wynn and Boyd, the second rowers, tackling the Queensland second rower. Merrinan. It's McWhirter and close. Meninga took the ball nicely on the burst. Carr, Lewis, McWhirter again, Marinan. Strong running second row of this fellow, and he made a good break deep inside the New South Wales half. Higgs dummy half. It's Naylor. Caught by Morris. Got the ball back, McWhirter. And a uh, case of obstruction against New South Wales. Holding a man without the ball. And the penalty to Queensland. And I wonder what the decision will be here. Lewis is calling up. He's not going to call up Meninga. He's kicking for touch himself. So Queensland anxious for a try. Hancock. And this will be a test for the New South Wales defence. Conescu. Good defence from Rod Morris, the defensive dummy half. Higgs. Lewis. McWhirter. Don't gave it to close two. About nine metres out, right in front of the New South Wales posts. 
Playing it back to Lewis. Higgs on the far side. Got Carr going with him. Higgs couldn't unload it. Morrison win the defenders for New South Wales. Marion and dummy half. Lewis. No one up in support and he's lost the ball forward. Dived on on the far side by Carr. Tackle count starts again. Queensland with five to go now. Cornescu. Marinan. Higgs wants it. Cornescu goes himself. He's not very far away either. Now Ray Higgs is a danger man from here if he goes himself. Lewis. McWhirter. Close again. Caught by Boyd. And Graham Quinn. Chris Close about four metres out. Playing it to Lewis. That's Naylor. That's Scott. To Naylor. Lewis. Kanescu. New South Wales defence holding. They've, they've got to put one in the air. They've got to try the bomb. Well, here it is. The last tackle coming up. And Lewis got the pass a little bit late, but it's not a bad kick. Dan coming across calls for it and drops it. Marinan falls on it, and the referee said it went forward. The pass took a long time coming to the halfback, and he was crowded for him, but the kick was well placed. And Dan knocked it forward, and Meninga was there, and Marinan just knocked the ball forward. And you'll see from head on the fact that uh, Kevin Dam was in good position. He had his eyes on the ball all the time. And he should have taken it comfortably from there. But the ball a bit slippery. And Marion in good position. And look at that. Unfortunately, couldn't ground it correctly. Oh, will they? That's a bad mistake. That was Brent well done by Bentner there to keep that ball into play. I get the impression that New South Wales, the, the play is scrappy. They've got to tighten themselves up. They've, Captain uh, Ray Price has got to get in there and, and, and inspire his, his team. Stone's running up and taking the ball up, but as he's doing now, he did well to get rid of it, the boy. And Les Boyd, good pass away to Rod Morris. He's got no support, though. That's the danger of Les Boyd. It only needs to happen once or twice. Trudge it. Queensland have got Meninga down on the field injured. One tackle to go. And Boyd. There's an overlap here. New South Wales should score. Dan looking for support. It's jarred loose. Hancock has it. That's Naylor to play it. Given Dan having a rather unhappy evening. He's been chiming into the attack, but he's been hesitating and nowhere to go. And, of course, he lost the ball on that occasion. And the injured player across field, Peter McWhirter, the 5'8". And it looks as though Queensland are going to uh, make a replacement with Ray Kelly to uh, come on. Still a little bit of feeling out there. There's uh, Robert Stone and Ray Price again. And it, uh, with that kick for touch, it looks like uh, Queensland are going to make that replacement. The Ipswich 5'8", uh, Ray Kelly, wearing number 16. Looks as though he's coming on to replace Peter McWhirter. Lewis, Hancock. And Kelly's gone onto the field now. That's Higgs. He's dropped it. New South Wales, 10 metres inside their own half. Steve Martin playing at the Lang. Price. 22 minutes gone in the second half. New South Wales, 12. Queensland, 4. Boyd. Good break, but... Uh, the pass was a little bit premature. Now Boyd again. Good tackle from Neil. He did well to recover there, Boyd. He, he knew the pass had gone astray and he was onto it like a flash. Bostead. He's come all the way over from the far wing. Martin. On the burst, Graham Quinn. This Queensland defence still holding good for the moment. 
on halfway. One tackle to go. Price. And another lovely tackle by Wally Lewis right around the legs. So there we have it. Both sides have made changes in the back line and you'll see uh, number 16 Ray Kelly at 5'8 for Queensland on the far side of the scrum. With the scrum in centre field, uh, the fullback standing up, each side playing three men aside in the back line. That's a penalty to New South Wales. And definitely against the Queensland front row for collapsing, the hooker, uh, Greg Conescu, was uh, flat on his back. Interesting to note too, Alan, that uh, Ray Higgs was in the front row in that scrum. But obviously made changes in the pack. Yes, and uh, they're probably needed too, uh, Reg, because New South Wales are leading in the scrums by 9-2. to two, And in fact, they, uh, Queensland haven't won a scrum in the second half. New South Wales have won the second half scrums 4-0. to none. Yes. And uh, Queensland can't get back into this game if they don't get the ball. So Rod Morris. They've been doing a lot of tackling, Queensland, and they've got to keep, uh, keep doing it too. They've got to keep moving up. If they don't move up and they give New South Wales room to move, well, anything's likely to happen. Stone's playing a very strong game. Morris, Rod Morris also. New South Wales in a good position. There's a spare ball on the field on the far side. Price trying to set his winger up. Got support on the far side. The ball's astray. Referees allowed play to go on. New South Wales have it. Being played by fullback Dan. That's Lang. And Steve Martin. Martin's through. Caught by Hancock and Lewis on the fifth tackle to Lang. That's Wynn. They won't stop him. Graham Wynn scoring the third try for New South Wales, and it's 15 points to four. Wide out on the far side, and Wynn's kick is going to fall short under the posts. So New South Wales maintains its lead of 15 to four, with a little over 15 minutes remaining. Good news for Queensland. Norm Carr back on his feet. He's OK. Meninga to start. Price running it up. Stone. Robert Stone probably one of very few players who hasn't uh, harmed his prospects this evening. Les Boyd made a good break on to Kevin Dan and he got it back to Boyd who's offside. It was only a rebound, accidentally of course, purely because Dan couldn't hold the pass. Dan was almost in the clear, but Les Boyd just caught the rebound and the purely reflex action and he was offside. And Kevin Dan once again not being able to handle that ball. I wonder what difference uh, Graham Eady might have made tonight. Yes, well, there's only one Graham Eady, isn't there? New South Wales to bring on their second replacement, the Western Suburbs lock, Jimmy Lease. Shortly we'll see that. Here's Rowan Hancock up the blind side. All the way from Warwick on the Darling Downs. Lewis and Kelly. Back to Higgs. Going himself. The defence hung off him for a while and it was left to Lang to move up and put him down, assisted by the second rowers. Konescu, Lewis, Naylor. Close out there, close going for the line and brought down too close. Trudge at the tackler, New South Wales defending now. Konescu left it behind. Tackle count to start again and Collins got the fullback playing it. Lewis. Long pass out to Carr. Try to set up his winger. McNeil goes to dummy half. To Carr. Going the blind side. Only about four metres out. Lewis. It's Higgs. And that's a penalty to Queensland against Robert Stone in the tackle. You saw the reason indicated by referee Ward. Touch judges come in to 
uh, advised that Jim Lease is on the field and Graham Wynn's been replaced. So Queensland taking a quick tap and Conescu trying to dive for the line. Let's see if Queensland can get over the New South Wales line. Lewis, Kelly, Meninga. Close. Good defence from Graham Quinn. Back to Meninga. Lewis, Scott. On the far side, Brad Backer. Good pass to Naylor, running wide on the far side. Backer inside, quick passing. No, Backer is about four metres short. He's knocked the ball forward. Now, uh, Jim Leese to pack into the second row there. We see in the Queensland scrum that uh, Hancock's gone back into the second row and Higgs has gone to the front row. And the penalty from the scrum to Queensland look to be against the New South Wales front row for not standing square on in the scrum. I don't think they'll be worried too much about going for a kick at goal. Naylor. That's Higgs. Hancock. 15-4, New South Wales leading. Hancock, a long pass to Meninga. He had fullback Scott going through. Got the pass the other way to Higgs, and it's knocked down. Kelly to play it. Long pass to Meninga. Pushed out of the tackle of Staines, but he was well held by hooker John Lang. Conescu, Lewis, wasn't expecting the pass. That's Hancock. Under a high tackle of Quinn. He hurt himself too. It's obvious he's got uh, a rib cartilage or something. But it was high. Now Kelly. Close. Ball jarred loose and it's least for New South Wales to play it. 15-4 the score. Graham uh, Quinn in a lot of pain out on the wing. Price. And look at the lack of support for New South Wales. Only one or two players over on that far side. That's Boyd. And that dummy got the defence. Boyd still going. Out to Price, playing like a winger. Lease. He's a creative player. Jimmy Lease is over halfway. Hasn't got the pace, though, to get away from the defence. Martin, Rod Morris, Price. Morris will play it. Last tackle coming up for New South Wales. Steve Morris, Martin. It's Trudgett who's left it behind. Kelly for Queensland. Higgs. Back to Naylor. Carr. Wrapped up by Robert Stone. And that's against the New South Wales defenders, Stone and Rod Morris. The two props weren't able to extricate themselves from the tackle and Queensland get the penalty. The Western Suburbs skipper from Brisbane, Norm Carr, gives it to Meninga. In the second half, uh, Queensland have received 10 penalties to three, and they're leading in the penalty count now by 18 to 10. There's another one to Queensland. Hancock. There's about seven minutes to go in the game. Meninga. Meninga out to uh, Naila. Scott. Well, we've only got a small crowd here, but most of them are staying on in the hope of seeing a Queensland try. And it's out to Carr. Looking at the backer, who's got plenty of pace on the far side. Got it around again nicely. Queensland very close. Carr is pushed into touch. 
They're certainly trying hard, Queensland. They're throwing the ball. Uh, it's a good, quick passing there. The backer has seen very little of the uh, of the ball. He's plenty of speed, but he's had very few opportunities to show his worst tonight. Morris feeding for New South Wales. Queensland win their first scrum of the second half. Kelly got it away, gets close. Chris Close, only about five metres out. Higgs, Lewis, Meninga, Scott. Fullback Scott going for the line and a lovely tackle. Coming in from the wing, Graham Quinn. Meninga. Meninga for the corner and that's Neil, close to the line and over to score. Queensland's persistence pays off. A well-deserved try, 15-7 to 7 the score, and let's have a look at the manner in which that try came up again as the pass went out on the right-hand side of the field. I think Queensland deserved this try, and there's a fellow who's played well all night, Meninga, a beautiful pass. Now, Neil wrong-foots the New South Wales defence and goes over for a well-deserved try. And from head-on, you'll see the value of this break by Meninga. He beat through the first tackle to draw the defence, and Neil realising the cover defence coming across. Look at the way he sidestepped them, left them both floundering but lucky to score, a good try. So Mal Meninga with the conversion attempt, 15 to seven the score. And the game has been far from anything like a repeat of last week's effort at Lang Park, where New South Wales won 35 to three and Queensland have given a very good performance this evening. Conceding three tries, scoring one themselves. And a successful conversion here would do justice to a, the Queensland cause with about five minutes to go. Just away. New South Wales 15, Queensland 7. And uh, Willie's form uh, with Western Suburbs and also with the, uh, with the representative side has been first class. There'll be, uh, I'd say, one or two positions that will require quite a, a bit of debate uh, tonight when the team is selected. So, Dan, not from a wide angle. Well, why wasn't he on earlier? <laughs> a good, good kick. kick. 17 to 7, the score. And that somewhat knocked my prediction, Reg. I thought there wouldn't be more than seven or eight points difference in the result tonight. Kevin Dan's just uh, tipped me out. Well, now 10 points difference. Much. Not by much. But that's just about it, I think, is it? About two minutes to go. Yep. 17 to 7 the score. Into the last minute of play now with Meninga putting down a shallow kickoff, but it'll go straight to Boyd. Caught by Marinan and assisted to the ground by... Booker Konescu and the other second rower, Higgs. And speaking of, of Ray Higgs, I, uh, I'm sure that everyone would be interested to, uh, to note that he's, he's still the same style, that uh, charging run, he's had a tremendous amount of tackling tonight. He'd, be, he'd have to be well up in the, in the 30 bracket, 17 in the first half, and I'd say over 30, he's had a tremendous amount of tackling, and with the ball, he's taken it up. And here's Ray Price making a good break on the far side. Winger Bose had it overrun him, now he's got the ball. Play on, says referee Ward. New South Wales going to attack. Martin out towards Trudgett. Long one to Brentnell. And close up on him very smartly. One tackle to go for New South Wales. To Dan. Stone left it behind. And knock back ruled. End of six tackles. Scrum to go down. And probably the last scrum of the match. And Alan, you did ask me before about the centre clash. And tonight's game has been very little in it. Uh, they've, they've given... Uh, They've stood up all night and it's, they've just about cancelled each other out because of their defensive play. And uh, I'm anticipating a scrum penalty perhaps from here. It doesn't come out cleanly this time, it's in. And that's it, New South Wales making a clean sweep of the Interstate Series for 1980 after winning at Lang Park last week by 35 points to three. New South Wales have won the match by 17 points to seven after leading 12-4 at half time and that meant that only eight points were scored in the second half. For New South Wales, try scored by Brentnell, Wynn and Steve Morris and Wynn kicked three goals, Dan won. For Queensland, 
A try scored by Neil and Meninga, two goals. Scrums favoured New South Wales by 9 to 4, and the penalties favoured Queensland by 19 to 11. New South Wales winning the return into state clash here at Leichhardt Abel by 17 points to 7.